From there, after six days and seven nights, you arrive at Sobeti, the White City, well exposed to the moon, with the streets worn about themselves as in a skin. They tell this tale of its foundation. Men of various nations had an identical dream. We saw a woman running at night through an unknown city. She was seen from behind with long hair, and she was naked. They dreamed of pursuing her, as they twisted and turned. Each of them lost her. After the dream, they set out in search of that city. They never found it, but they found one another. They decided to build a city like the one in the dream. In leaning out the streets. Each followed the course of his pursuit, at the spot where they had lost the fugitives' trail. They arranged the spaces and the walls differently from the dream, so she would be unable to escape again. This was the city of Zobidi, where they settled, waiting for that scene to be repeated one night. None of them, asleep or awake, ever saw the woman again. The city's streets were streets where they went to work every day, with no link any more to the dreamed chase, which, for that matter, has long been forgotten. New men arrived from other lands, having had a dream like theirs, and in the city of Tobidi, they recognized something of the streets of the dream, and they changed the positions of arcades and stairways. To resemble more closely to the past of the pursued woman, and so, at the spot where she had vanished, there would remain no avenue of escape. The first to arrive could not understand what drew these people to Zobidi, this ugly city, this trap.